Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-month of July general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Cancer, someone rising to Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you all's energy, the song that I got was Bad Habit by Maxwell. Maxwell happens to be a Gemini, so you could be dealing with a Gemini, someone rising to Venus individual, or someone that you met in Gemini season, which was May, June timeframe. Now, let me just start by saying, he literally starts the song off by saying, I can't control the feeling. Like somebody can't control how they feel about someone. And the next part that really stood out to me, it's not, I'm not saying the verses in verbatim, like the lyrics in verbatim, but I'm just telling you the parts that really stood out for me. He says, girl, I feel you when you're combing your hair. Let me tell you immediately with the song title, Bad Habit, and those couple, you know, those couple parts of the song that I heard, I feel like very strongly for a lot of you all, somebody gets obsessed and they fall very deeply and very quickly for someone. You can be dealing with someone who the minute that they connect with you the minute that they discover that they like you they become infatuated or you could be like that you could be you know how like especially when you're teenagers and things like that you get to draw and scribbling your name with their last name and it's just like immediately you see a whole life with someone maybe you have a a thing where you do that with everybody that you date or everyone that you you know feel some type of connection with now if this isn't you then you could be dating someone who's like that Cause that's, I feel like that's that person's bad habit. Like already just planning a wedding before the initially really getting to understand or know this person is what I'm getting here. So let's see what we get for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Honestly, I'm getting obsession and infatuation, like a strong, strong feeling of like, it's, it's just hard to explain. Cause you know what I'm hearing? Like, it's like, they don't know how to explain how they feel. I don't think they've ever been able to explain how they feel or this could be you. It's just a feeling like it's just, they feel everything deeply. So it could be a fellow water sign or like I said, this could be you specifically. So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the chariot. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for those cards for Cancer, Summer, Rise, and Venus. Bottom of the deck, you have the Magician, Gemini. I just mentioned Maxwell is a Gemini. Gemini and Virgo. I feel like in your mind or this person's mind, they are already manifesting a whole life with you. Literally. I feel like this is what this person does. Also, I'm going to tell you on a more extremely spiritual level, right? I feel like for a lot of you all, you are manifesting your person. You are manifesting your dream person. Like, because when I, again, the part that I heard when he started off the song says, I can't control the feeling. And then the other part that I heard, girl, I feel you when you comb your hair. It's like, you, you're not even in this person's presence, but you could just feel that you're getting ready to manifest love. So there's two different narratives that I'm getting here for this reading. For some of you all, it's someone just jumps into every situation just knowing that this is going to be a person. And then for another group of people, it's like you can just sense and you can just feel that you are manifesting and calling in a true love companion. Okay? So let's go ahead and do some shuffles. And then we're going to get into the reading. And again, we want the Major Arcana of Cherry. There you go. But I'm going to keep shuffling because we want the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Somebody may be manifesting you also. Bottom of the deck. Yes. Coming in hot. Coming in quick. Eight of Wands. Fast moving communication. Coming out of blue unexpectedly. Cupid's arrows also. I'm telling you. Some of y'all, if you're single, you're going to meet somebody in August. They're in Leo season. You got Wands here. Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay. Also, this person could be a August Leo as well. And I'm also getting somebody's life head number is eight. Okay. Also, when I think about eight, eight is like the infinity symbol sideways. And if you go back in the video um, with the magician right in the middle of his hands, he has the infinity symbol and it's green. And the heart chakra, love-based energy is green. So I do feel like a lot of you guys are calling in someone who is going to be your life partner. You guys are going to do this song and dance of life together. Okay. So again, we want the chariot, the card that comes before and the card that comes after. There you go. There's the chariot. For Cancer, Sun, and Rise, and Venus, this is going to happen soon. <laughs> so you got the King of Swords. I feel like somebody could be obsessive. You see how he's just sitting there trying to play cool and calm, but look at him with a sword. Like he's already staking some type of claim. Okay, Gemini, Leave Aquarius. Again, I'm going to say Maxwell is a Gemini. Just put it out there. It doesn't have to be that they are Gemini, Sun, Rise, and Venus individual. 
something with Gemini season could resonate as well. There's your energy and then right behind it. Look, you got a lot of Gemini energy here. And then you got the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and victory. Now, this card is upright, right? But it's down. I always tell you, sort of, it's just sort of down. It's no. I feel like in this instance, this person, there's somebody who is in love with you. And it's like they want to say it, but they just don't. Because that's a huge sword. Like, this is big feelings. This person has big feelings, okay? Sort of is just sort of down. It's no. It's sort of sideways. Like, this person wants to express how they feel, but they feel like I got to play it cool. You see how he's trying to keep this persona, this air, pun intended, air sign energy. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with air sign. They try to keep this persona like they're trying to be cool. Because they, for some of you all, you're dating somebody who knows that they could be richly and extremely um, aggressive with how they feel. One second, guys. My apologies. As I was saying, this person knows that they can come off kind of strong and very intensely when they like someone. So they may be trying to reframe and trying to hold back. But I don't think they can. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. Like I said in the song, I can't control the feeling. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can. And then also, I'm going to say, again, for a lot of you all, you're calling in your partner. Because for every king, there's a queen, vice versa, same sex, however it resonates for you. You know, they always come in a pair. They're always there. They're, when they connect with people, they're not connecting for situationships or short-term relationships. They're trying to build a legacy with somebody. So I feel like a lot of you all are, you, if you've been talking to the universe, trying to call in your person, they're about to deliver. They've heard your cries, they've heard your pleas, they've heard your prayers. That's why I'm getting there. Bottom of the deck, five of wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements, chaos. I feel like this person, <laughs> I won't be real with you, like with this energy, for some of y'all that this resonates with, that you could be dealing with someone who they, they immediately hop from one relationship to another. You know, getting that also. So let's go ahead. I'm going to part the day. You got two fives here. So sadness, sorrow, grief, depression. <coughs> also third parties. Oh, Lord. Some of you all, they, you could be dealing with somebody who jumps in relationships before they're completely out of another relationship. You got two fives here. Fives about, um, in numerology, is about changes, challenges, adventures, journeys. Hmm. Let's see what we get here. That may also, it's like confidence. That may be their conflict. Like they fall in love with everybody that they meet. And just like that, it all goes up in flames. Pun intended, again, with the wands here. So let's see what we get for the king of wands, for cancer, someone right there, Venus individuals. Let's see what we get. So for the King of Wands, bottom of the deck, I'm sorry, King of Swords. I'm, I keep saying King of Wands, so for some of y'all, it is a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. For the King of Swords, bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the actual nine to five, putting in the work. For some of y'all, if you're single, you may meet this person at their job or at yours. I remember I was saying with the Eight of Wands, it could be happening in August. For a lot of y'all, you literally may meet them at their job or yours, okay? Also... I'm going to say again for some of you all, if you're connected with someone, it just seems like they just feel things so deeply and they jump into a relationship so quickly. It never works out. It never works out. Um, with the song Bad Habit, I'm thinking that somebody is also realizing that as well. That they jump into things too quickly and it never works out. It's like another one bites the dust. You get what I'm saying here? I'm getting that as well. So let's get a clarify for the King of Swords. Clarify for the King of Swords. For cancer, someone rise and Venus individuals. Man, that flew out. Look, all these damn fives. <laughs> and it flipped out sideways, so we're going to take it that way. But you have the five of swords. You just had the five of wands, um, five of swords, and five of cups. Five, five, five. It's like this person, see, oh my Lord. Five, five, five. It's like mimicking. Like this person, somebody in this situation keeps doing the same thing. You know what I'm getting also because you have nothing but swords here surrounding you. You may feel like... You attract the same type of person. Some of you all may literally always attract Geminis or air signs. And I feel like you're like, this go around. I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> it's like every single person that you date seems like a, a physically a different version of a person, but energetically like, like the same type of people. It seems like you just keep dating the same type of people. Because this, I feel like discovering something, that's what I'm getting. Now, for those of you who are single and you're calling in someone, I also feel like 
you when you meet this person, you realize like don't move too quick because you're you're going through the same type of cycles where something about this person gives you the same type of energy. But then also it's like you may want to do some checks to make sure there's no other people in the in the um in the picture because that may be your bad habit. Your bad habit is possibly just trusting people, trusting their word, source, communication, mental, trusting their word that they're single without doing a little snooping, doing a little digging. You know, bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, because it's like it always ends and you having to leave this person or they dump you because of, of right the cup spilling over and reverse is being dumped. So it may be something like that as well. Let's get a clarifier for this Ace of Swords. Oh, damn. And then you have the Tower flip out very quickly. Aries and Scorpio energy. So with the Tower is like things come crashing down because it was never built on a solid foundation to begin with. In reverse... This is like trying to avoid tower moments, trying to avoid things from ending in a chaotic and dramatic way. That may be your bad habit also. <laughs> like you may try to, you know, you can use a sword to fight with, right? You could try to fight, you know, fight an ending of situations. Even when it seems like there's a lot of drama or there's a lot going on in the first place, that may be your bad habit or somebody that you meet. But I feel like if there's someone that you meet, like if you're single and you connect with this person, I feel like you're going to notice this. Like, he, you see how he's very attentive and he notices? You're going to notice something about the way this person carries on. And you're going to realize, like, you know, this is probably why their last relationship didn't, didn't work. Because this person is too all over the place. It's air. This is air, air, air. This person is airy. They don't know how to sit still. They don't know how to ground things. They don't know how to establish things appropriately. Again, you might be coming to that reality check that, that you're like that. You know, here on this channel, we, we hold ourselves accountable. So that may be the situation also. Some of you guys may have recently ended a situation. This person's trying to come back and you're like, you know what? I give people too many chances. I have to, I got to turn them loose. You see how this sword is cutting those chains? I got to turn them loose. I got to be free as a bird. Some of you all may also in this time realize like, you know, I thought I wanted a relationship, but you know what? I just want to be free. You may be happy. You know, you may be in that energy as well. So put the situation where it applies for you. Every single thing can't possibly apply to everybody, but I, I definitely feel like there's some strong messages that may resonate with quite a few of you out there. Okay? So, Cancer, Summer Rise and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.